Hey folks, Bob Reese with the Guides Forecast giving you a fishing report for Sunday, August 27th. Last day of the river opener. We're going to close for two days. <clears throat> but for those that are sticking around, uh, you pick some good days because the ocean looks friendly as it was today. I made another run to the ocean and it was good. I didn't see a lot of nets fly, but I felt we were uh, more lucky than good. Um, had a phenomenal strike to land ratio today. The first 10 bites we got, we landed and harvested nine of those 10 bites. So had uh, had a good strike to land ratio working in our favor. We didn't have any problem getting our 14 fish. Started off in about 60 foot of water due west of the lighthouse. Um, and it was, you know, it was good fishing for quite a while. Uh, I started actually at the tip of the North Jetty and did a short troll to no avail just for about 20 or 25 minutes and then bumped out to 60 foot in front of the lighthouse and we finished up um, with a call from my friend Chad Niedermeyer uh, went to the green line and trolled from buoy 7 to buoy 3 and got our last uh, I don't know three or four keepers there ended with a double on Chinook close to buoy 3 and they were Biting the spinner baits again. The stern rods were the most active at 40 on the line counters with uh, 12 ounces of lead. So that's not commonly the case. The bow rods are often pretty busy, but they weren't so much today. That uh, pink, metallic pink spin fish was getting some action. The blue, uh, silver metallic spin fish was getting no love. Changed it out to a Mexican hat spinner chunk rig and it's still got no love so we had bow rod issues today um the river fished really good today a lot of boats stuck it out over on the washington side above the bridge in blind channel and they didn't do great over there a lot of a lot of sad sad frowny faces over there and the folks that stuck to the Oregon side, uh, as we've oftentimes mentioned in our webinars, soft tide exchanges produce good results in the anchorage and at Tongue Point. And those folks that fished in those two areas on the Oregon side did very well today. So still had to sort through wild ones to find the hatchery fish. Um, there's a seems to be a stronger component of brights in the recent uh, couple of days. Tulies are phasing out, um, and so. You know, good fishing. It'll uh, it'll uh, be shut down for the next two days, but when it opens again, come Wednesday, ought to be good. But meanwhile, the ocean should should remain productive. There was a couple boats that went out to 230 foot of water, and if you were there early, you got a bunch of fish. But the fact of the matter is, the coho are showing up again. This is what we've been waiting for and their timing is spot on. So um, a lot of people are commenting on the size of the coho that we're catching both in the ocean and the river. A lot of large fish, a lot of fish over 12 pounds or better. So um, coho rodeo, they'll be coming in the river here any day. I think Wednesday is gonna be great for coho and some Chinook as well. Um, so stand by on that. But in the meantime, we should have a couple of really productive and fun days of ocean salmon fishing. No need to travel too far from the mouth. Uh, but tides are on the increase. Uh, so, you know, that might make the channel uh, fishing from on the green line and the red line a little more challenging in the coming days. But, you know, that north side. And some folks are catching fish to the south too by buoy two and the CR. So, um, here in you know, this has been a long time coming. We've waited a long time for these coho. There's been a, a gross absence of them, but uh, they clearly found some productive feed in, in a different location and God bless them for it. So thankfully we had Chinook to catch in the near shore and there's gonna be, um, better bump up those leaders to 50 pound test because uh, gonna be a large bunch of big coho come in. So. We'll report more on ocean fishing next couple days. Um, should be easy bar crossings, but uh, there there is minus tides coming. 
<clears throat> so any sort of westerly swell could be problematic for bar crossings. Never take it for granted. Stay safe out there. Check out our free webinar on bar and ocean safety. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hopefully uh, a lot of you folks are Chinook and Steelhead members. We appreciate you. Stay safe.